Hey, it's John. I wanted to talk a bit about snowstorms in Maine, specifically the nor'easter, or nor'easta, as they might say in my native down east. Nor'easters are the snowstorms with the highest potential to bury northern Maine in feet of snow. That's when you've been shoveling for an hour and it's still getting deeper. It's that new math we've heard about. These storms typically form in the Gulf of America or off the Carolinas, but can also form inland and feed into low-pressure disturbances off the eastern seaboard. These storms form and intensify because they gain energy from the warm air over the Gulf Stream water flowing north up the eastern seaboard. When a colder air mass such as is currently spilling into the region from the polar vortex, moves over the warmer coastal air, energy and moisture rapidly moves into the atmosphere, creating a strong low-pressure mass. As the storm moves up the coast, it feeds on the temperature gradient between land and ocean. Sometimes storms moving across the south feed into low-pressure disturbances off the coast. The storm can intensify so fast it becomes what's known as a bomb cyclone, which is essentially rapid development of low pressure. That's going to cause your yard to go from light dusting to lost my mailbox in hours. The storm travels northeast but the wind travels southwest. It is this wind coming out of the northeast where the storm gets its name. So the storm's going one way, and the weather is coming at us from the exact opposite direction. High-pressure zones in Canada can block the nor'easter and its stalls in the Gulf of Maine, bringing extended duration of snow to the region. Powerful winds come from the tight pressure gradient between the deep low offshore and the strong high to the north, winds strong enough to make your house whistle. These events also often impact the Canadian Maritimes. I think, ready or not, here it comes. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. As always, subscribe if you would. Bye-bye.